Hey everybody, today I am beyond excited about what we're going to be doing. In today's video, as you read by the title, I'm going to be unboxing the Lumoji as well as showing you guys everything that's inside and even kind of a tutorial. It's more of just me making a bracelet for the first time, but you know, if you need a little bit of help making your own first Lumoji bracelet, this will probably be a really great video for you. But I think other than that, let's just get right into the actual video. Okay, so I'm sure there was some sort of intro before this and I'm sorry if this is at a weird angle. I have no clue how to film videos like this specifically, so I'm really sorry about that. Still learning, you know, but I have yet to film the intro or any of that stuff that you probably saw before this. I'm so excited to open this. I got this for my birthday. I told my mom, I was like, this is the only thing I want for my birthday. I'm just going to open this and everything. Of course, I've already opened it. It's been quite a few days since my birthday, but I wanna do an opening for you guys. So the first thing you get is this instruction manual. The instructions. So it seems pretty easy. So that is good. You can connect the looms. I probably wouldn't buy a second one of these looms just because I don't need any more looms. I have so many looms, it's insane. But I was so excited to get this because Rainbow Loom hasn't really released anything new in such a long time. So I was so excited to see that they got this. Okay, sorry. Uh, I accidentally had my mic on backwards because of the videos I was filming earlier. Here is, I'm trying to show you guys this stuff. Uh, it's just, I have my camera, I'm looking at my viewfinder backwards, so I can't really see. Here they are. These are so cool. They feel rubbery, they glow in the dark, and then they have these little Rainbow Loom goodie bags. So these are kind of weird, but I really like them. So it seems like they have some adhesive on there, and then they just say Rainbow Loom. Sorry, this is so overexposed. They have this new hook and it has like this weird end on it for making cap bands. And it's green, I, my favorite color is green. I really like this. It's really, it's so weird to like see this hook, like it just looks so weird. Uh, I'm super excited to try it out though. These packs of C-clips aren't even C-clips. I believe they're called E-clips. So they look really different, so that is awesome. I'm not sure why they went with like different clips, why they made new clips, but I think it's really cool. I love when they make new things. And I have not seen a package of mixed bands in several years, cause I stopped booming quite a while ago and recently the only packs I've gotten are from Amazon. So I don't have any of the mixed bands. So I'm super excited to play around with these again, cause I haven't had those in so long. And then here we have the loom. It's translucent blue. I am obsessed with this color. This is so pretty, I love this. I believe the hooks or the pegs look just like the Rainbow Loom ones. So there's my unboxing first impression. Let's, let's try to, let's try to make something here. Let's look at the instructions. Sorry if this video is just all over the place. I seriously have no clue how to film this video. Like my camera is like, like I'm sitting, I'm sitting here. My camera is over here and I'm looking at my viewfinder upside down right now. Okay, so step one is to just make a regular bracelet. Okay, so after step three, okay, we're up to step four. Awesome. Step five is place Lumoji charms. Okay, I never said to put a cat band on the, oh, okay. So it says to place the charms. Let's just open up the charms here. So they seem a little sticky, gummy-y, rubbery. It doesn't say anything about how to get the charms off of there. So I'm gonna cut this off with nail clippers. Okay, 
So it looks like I can just like stretch them over these, right? Is that how you do it? I don't know. Ooh. These things are so interesting. Yeah, because it just says place Lumoji charms. I'm super excited by the way. This is a, this is such a cool idea, you know, like none of their competitors have ever come up with anything like this. And I really like this. I think these are super cool. And I wish that their following was still bigger so that more people got these and got to experience them. But you know, they aren't popular anymore. Like, I mean, they kind of are, but they're not like as they used to be. And I miss that. I miss when YouTube was flooded with Rainbow Loom stuff because I love looming. Uh, place Lumoji charms pin by pin in correct spelling order. I already did that. Eight, double loop bands. And it shows it to do, on, to do that on all of them, but I don't want to. And I don't think you have to. I personally have no problem with double looping bands or anything. So I feel like I'm not really gonna utilize this a whole lot, but let's just see. Oh, oh, that's so smooth. I really like that actually. I might not use it a whole lot, but I really do like it. That's a really nice touch. At Rainbow Loom, if you're watching this, I love that. That was a good idea. Okay, so we're done looping. What do we do now? 17. Okay, cool. Get a clip. I really do like these clips though. They're really weird and I don't get the point like behind making a new clip. Like C clips work perfectly fine. But I really like these. I, I really like everything that Rainbow Loom is doing now. Like all their new stuff that they've made. Well, I mean <laughs> this, but you know, I think this is really cool. Okay, this is looking really awesome. I think it's gonna end up being a little too big for my wrist, but that's okay. We'll work with it. 19 is attach the clips. I don't know if you can see there, but that's the e-clip. I really like it. The little charm dude, the little circle was twisted. So I just flipped the S through the charm and it made it not twisted. So that's really awesome um, that they don't, they don't actually get twisted up too bad in there. So that's really nice. So that is it for this video. If you have any other questions about the Lumoji, anything at all to do with it, just ask me in the comments down below and I will be sure to get back to you. As well as follow me on Instagram. It is galaxies and gargoyles because there I will be posting everything that I make with this loom. So make sure to go follow that. As well as if you make anything with your Lumoji, I would love to see it. So you can either DM it to me or tag me or at me, whatever you would like to do. I just love seeing everything that you guys make. So other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.